Hi everybody, meet Mr. Hiroshi Tagami. Yes. Yeah, he is the hybrid system engineer and he very kindly explained to me the Sport Hybrid IMMD. So, there are a few modes here. So first you see here, when you start and you go through urban area, when you go uphill, high speed cruising and downhill. So, what happens in all these stages is you can see the color blue here. This means powerful startup acceleration. It's up to here, it is motor drive. And then when you go into high speed cruising, it goes into the engine drive. And then when you are like going downhill or on negative throttle, you get motor drive again. So, here's how it works. Now, with uh, Sport Hybrid IMMD. Okay, IMMD means Intelligent Multi-Mode Drive, yeah? So, when you start off on the hybrid system in the IMMD system, you always start off with electric drive. So, that means from here, you can see the track. The battery drives the traction motor and in turn, it drives the wheels. That's how it works. But then, as you are accelerating, so here, when you're accelerating, you are using the hybrid system where the engine uh, also helps to charge the generator and gives more power to the battery and acceleration is done by the traction motor. Now this traction motor can give up to 307 newton meters of torque. So it is really, really very powerful. Okay, then there's another condition where you have engine drive and in this condition there is a clutch so you see here the clutch is not engaged but here when you are going at high speed cruising then what happens is the engine drives the wheels directly yeah through the transmission so there's a clutch engaged and the generator and the traction motor don't do anything so according to uh, the honda engineers this is by far the most efficient system for running the hybrid system so this is a this is a new system yes yeah so this is a new system and this is the latest iteration of the hybrid system so now we're going to take a look at the coil motor and this is what your motor looks like the motor remains the same thickness how much power it generates depends on how much current you put in so that means it's just a motor you give him 267 newton meters of torque it will deliver 267 newtons of torque is the amount of electricity to supply however the other one is the generator this is the part that generates current for the batteries and for the engine yeah and, for, and to drive the car the thickness of this determines how much current it can generate this is for the for the recharging part yeah this generator does nothing but charge the batteries and the thicker the generator the more power it can generate yeah so it's like having a bigger cup to scoop yeah you get a bigger ladle to scoop you get more power and this is the traction motor the thickness is the same so it is the same motor for either the inside or the uh, crv and how much power it develops depends on how much current is allowed in there okay so that's the latest uh, update on the information. Hi guys, we are on the Twin Ring Modeki test track and this is the test of the IMMD system and earlier I made a mistake guys, these cars that you see here are not Honda Accords, they are the Honda Insight and the CRV. that's the second two cars and the last two cars are the N-Box and here you see, that's the N-Box. So the Honda inside has changed quite a bit, yeah? It looks so much like the Accord that I mistook them for Accords. Yep, they are not Accords, they are Honda insides. 
So we are looking at them going around the track. We've shown you the track layout. So that's about turn number two or three. And they go around this course and come back. So the speed limit is supposed to be 80 kilometers per hour. But uh, well, that has all changed in the rain and they're probably going slower. So we are waiting for our turn. And here is a opportunity to see what it looks like from the outside, yeah? And this is uh, what, it's, it's a really, really wet and cold day. It's raining and my camera is getting wet. I hope it doesn't get spoiled. And so it looks like it's maybe a three minute lap or two and a half minute lap before they come back. We have gone for one minute and 34 seconds, yeah. So they're coming around. So there's a big loop at the end. Let's try to zoom in. Yes, and they're gonna come back. You get to run three laps, so therefore it's gonna be maybe a 10 minute driving experience. And uh, what's going to, what we're gonna test here is the IMMD, which stands for Intelligent Multi Mode Driving. And there are three modes that you'll be testing. The hybrid system always starts off as uh, electric, yeah? So same to same as with all the hybrid systems that Honda have now, you start off as electric, and then when you accelerate, you will get a combination of electric and engine drive, and that is called the hybrid drive. And when you are coasting at high speed, then you will get only the engine driving the car. So there are three modes of driving in IMMD, and they all they all happen automatically yeah so just to repeat you get either electric drive which usually happens when you are starting off or hybrid drive which is a combination of engine and battery when you're accelerating and also at high speed cruising you will get direct drive from the engine so all right then stand by for our turn with the IMMD system which is uh, intelligent multi-mode driving and we managed to get a camera onto the meter so you can see we're starting off in electric drive I can't see very well because uh, the camera is blocking the meter but anyway uh, when you're accelerating you'll be a combination of uh, engine and motor power and uh, when you're cruising at high speed it will be just on the engine itself because they have a system that couples the engine directly to the transmission and to the wheels and uh, according to Honda this is the most efficient way of getting the hybrid to work and this is the latest interpretation of the hybrid system by Honda so as you accelerate you should see both engine and the electric system working and when you are cruising you will see the engine only right pushing the car so now we are braking and you should see some charging happening and in front of us you can see the other cars there are two insides and another crv in front of us so there are six in the convoy and behind us there are two um, there are two end boxes and behind me is Vivian Hi. so the steering movement you see now is the hand uh, what do you call push-pull method which is a very easy to learn method so what you do is actually you try to keep your hands in the 9 and 3 or 10 to 2 position all the time and you just pull or push on the steering and you change your position uh, accordingly because the whole idea is to have your shoulders square with the steering so that you have very good control over the car so in case of competitive driving or in a rally or on dirt midway through a corner if you happen to meet a stone or a hole that 
kicks your try to kick your steering back your hands are in this position and they're very strong there's of course there's also the hand over hand method where you turn until a certain position and then you're supposed to put your hand up and move so that you again get back this position so uh, what i use is perhaps a hybrid system yeah uh, of hand over hand plus push pull and that's what i'm familiar with there's no right no wrong it's what you prefer i personally prefer the push pull method because it makes your passengers feel very safe okay so in the meantime we are seeing what's happening uh, the top of the meter shows whether it's charging or not charging and then at the bottom it shows you what uh, the drivetrain is doing a very graphic uh, display and this is the CRV hybrid okay we don't have the CRV hybrid in Malaysia mm. I wonder if this is going to this means anything you know uh, it's the CRV hybrid coming to Malaysia and okay I'm gonna hold back a bit this is supposed to be a 1.5 liter engine with the hybrid motor now having said that the hybrid motor has a total torque yeah, of 307 newton meters that's a lot of torque yeah and equivalent to that of a turbo and so it will make up for the 1.5 liter engine I'm good just going to accelerate see and that's a CVT yeah, that we have and you can see that the hybrid system actually does have the power hmm. is this to show something that is going to come we don't know but anyway it will be an interesting development as we follow Honda's progress towards electrification so like all our test drives there's something making noise and in this case at this moment is the walkie-talkie that's making a lot of noise sorry guys but when you corner hard things do uh, tend to work loose we're not going very fast now we're only going at a very very low speed 48 kilometers per hour yeah so this is the last lap cameraman standing out in the rain taking pictures for us so this is the CRV with all-wheel drive hybrid system mm, quite a nice car to have yeah okay guys we're coming to the end of our IMMD driving adventure Thanks for being with us.